And if you go to Ongea, I know the reefs around Ayangsa. And when I was calculating the, the speed that we were traveling, it will be nightfall before we arrive to Ongea. And I look at Namuka, it will only take two hours. I just ask the Holy Spirit. And that is the power that I'm talking about. One of the power is the right decision at the right time. Very, very vital at, in a short time that you make the, have to make a decision. And in the middle of that, we are, <laughs> the Utonial was rocking with high waves, high seas. And uh, uh, the captain of the fiber, they said, uh, it will be very risky for us to try that, uh, that small passage, the passage only for fiber, fiberglass boat, not for Utanialo. Hallelujah. That's why I used that example yesterday at the Kirsten. And in so, so many cases, the decision at that time, because he knows what is hidden in the secret and the things yet to come. Hallelujah. And when we came, and it was uh, in the afternoon, say about 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, uh, midday. Hallelujah. By the time we about to reach the passage in Namuka, those three fiber boats, they've been to Mode, pick up all our belongings, and they came to Namuka to lead us before we go into the passage. We can't do that in Ongea. We'll be still in the nightfall. And it's very risky. Hallelujah. And that's why it's very important. You're waiting. We, we must wait. And that waiting is a sacrifice. That waiting is for the Holy Spirit. We are conditioning the arrival of the Holy Spirit. We are conditioning ourselves. So that's why when we shut off the world waiting, then the Holy Spirit until you release your body to be sacrificial to God, then the Holy Spirit will operate. Because if you don't sacrifice your body, the evil spirit will be operating. And the Holy Spirit is a gentleman. He cannot force himself to you until you are willing. Behold, I'm at the door knocking. Clear up your house. Rearrange everything inside. Become a disciplined person. Hallelujah. Because whatever you do in the secret will be put on the rooftop. It's what you do in the secret because you are cleaning up the temple of God so the Holy Spirit can operate. Sangay mana numuwasa. Sangay authority na kakukaya. Sangay demurira on the So signs and wonders follow you because it's no longer you that leave the Holy Spirit. Because this is the beginning of ministering. Hallelujah. We will not be effective. We are just wasting our time, our resources, and our money. Hey, Amen. And a moment on a level ni buna, and a moment on a level ni kai vagati ko sinin do na misau. We are ineffective. We are irrelevant. <laughs> the church is becoming irrelevant to the world today. No effect at all. Why? No Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes, then you will be my witness. We are not a good witness. Why? Because there is no power, and the power comes because we. And because he entered, because of you, you sacrifice. You're waiting. Kurisawarakichoba, waiting. Not waiting, eating. Not waiting, sleeping. Waiting. No more waiting, sacrifice. Oh, my God, I'm going to turn the thing on. 24th, 25th, 26th. Sacrifice. We don't know what was happening in the Tikin of Molim and the Tikin of Molim. 